Um, hey, welcome, welcome back to Living in Weight. With all the new energy efficient uh, refrigerators out there coming into our state, you ever wondered where the old ones mm -hmm. go? Yeah. Thankfully, the broken down ones and the parts and gases used to keep refrigerators cold are recycled right here on Oahu. That's right. Hawaii Energy helps the process along with this refrigerator trade up and rid of fridge programs. <laughs> we tagged along with our friends at Hawaii Energize, Shana and Ramsey, to visit Refrigerant Recycling, where all the action takes place, and to learn more about the program. Inside Kapolei's industrial area, you'll find refrigerant recycling. This is where you go if you need to recycle your old fridge. We've come out to visit with our friends from Hawaii Energize, Shana and Ramsey, to learn more about this process. Yeah, thanks for having us on Living Ada Wait. Yeah, we're going to learn all about what goes into recycling a refrigerator and why it's so important to do that for the environment. Hey, it's actually illegal to release the refrigerant into the environment, so there are two options. You can incinerate it off island, but that's so expensive. The other option is to recycle it. So here to tell us more are our friends at Refrigerant Recycling. All right, a lot happening here. Alan, tell me about refrigerant recycling and what you do. Well, refrigerant recycling was started in 91 to um, recover refrigerant out of old refrigerators and air conditioners. Um, through our partners with Hawaii Energy, the city county of Honolulu, and our um, appliance retailers, refrigerant recycling recycles about 450 appliances a day. 200 or so are refrigerated, air conditioners, refrigerators, and so on. Why is this process so important for our environment and for the safety of disposing of refrigerators properly? Well, first of all, we want to get all the refrigerant out. So refrigerant, as you may remember, CFCs and HCFCs are damaging to the ozone layer. So the first step is we recover the refrigerant, then we pull out any other hazardous materials that we might find, refrigerant oils, uh, PCBs, mercury switches. One of the things we, we try to do is recycle everything we see. About 90% of them are recycled. We don't want to get them back out into the, the stream of old appliances because these are all energy hogs. So we want to get them off the grid and conserve power. Well, I'm a super nerd, so I'm really interested in seeing what's the ins and outs of the refrigerator and what happens to all the parts. So do you think you could show us what sure. happens? Sure. Let me show you guys okay, what it's like. let's go. So the first thing we do is we recover all the refrigerant out of all the appliances that come here. And then the second thing we do is um, Remove the compressor, which has refrigerator oil inside. And then we're checking the machine for capacitors or a mercury switch. Uh, the compressors get moved on the side where it's later drained of oil. Um, we'll pull out all the little bits, copper wire, copper pieces, pieces of aluminum. And then the refrigerator goes to um, Snitzer Steel where it gets shredded. And Alan, what are these contraptions here? So these are refrigerant recovery machines that we uh, designed here. So these machines will actually extract the refrigerant from the refrigerators and air conditioners, and it'll pump them in these refrigerant recovery cylinders here for reuse. All right, folks. So watch your hands. Check out all of this shredded material. We just saw the refrigerant get removed and the mechanical components get removed. Over 90% of the material of a refrigerator can be recycled, and it goes to this this huge machine that shreds it into this, this metal. So tell us more about it, Alan. Yeah, so the, the shredders right down the street, they can throw whole cars, refrigerators, everything in them. Um, material comes out like this. Uh, this material can then be shipped around the world to uh, other markets where it can be made into new cars, new appliances. That's cool. So not just the insides of the refrigerator, the outsides of it too get recycled, the whole thing. Yeah, that's really cool. This is an incredible process, and I imagine that machine is huge, noisy, it's shredding all these cars, lots of power going into that machine. Yep, tons. How cool is this? An actual hands-on lesson learning all about recycling, and the timing is great right now, isn't it? Yeah, so Hawaii Energy has a trade-up program for your refrigerator. If you're in the market for a new one and you want to jump to an Energy Star phrase, we'll give you $150 to do that, and we'll take care of the recycling, like these guys. Absolutely, and for our residents who have two, three, maybe four refrigerators or freezers, hey, if you just want to get rid of one of those extra ones and it's working, then they should make sure not to do the bulk pickup route because we'll pay you $75 
to recycle it here with Refrigerant Recycling. It'll turn into scrap metal, it'll be good for the environment, and you're getting $75, and you're removing this old energy hog from the grid. All right, money talks, good for the environment. Thank you guys so much, Thank Hawaii you. Energized. <laughs> All right, you're starting to think you might have a couple extra refrigerators. This cash and it's draining these energy hogs. You know, we talked to Carlson here was saying he saved like $500 by getting a more energy efficient refrigerator. I mean, it, it's it's remarkable how it can you can save money, but it's also nice to know that there's uh, that this facility is mm -hmm. is creating new things out of the old metal, so that it's not going to waste. There is something good being done about it. That's right, and they're like doing it. it the right way. And they also tag so that these don't end up back out in someone's home or something like that. Yeah, and, and, in, and in fact, they said I think they said that it also goes to make cars and mm -hmm. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Well, do you need a tough vehicle <laughs> with all the bells and whistles? Mm -hmm. And do you have half a million dollars to spend on it? No, uh, the first not. part, yeah. <laughs> well, if so, the 2019 Armored Ooh, Cadillac Escalade like ESV Chairman Package may be just the thing for you. All right. If you're interested, this built-to-order vehicle costs up to $500,000. <laughs> it boasts power reclining Italian leather seats, a mini bar, lighting that mimics natural daylight, good for your selfies, and an air purification <laughs> system that includes heavy-duty exhaust fans for cigar lovers. Wow. It also features the latest tech advances, a 4GL LTE hotspot and smart TV, along with car mm -hmm. Apple Play and Android auto integrations. I don't even know what some of that means, yeah, but there's it's a good. lot. To keep you protected, it has a 360 degree closed circuit camera system, biometric gun safes, and tough armor shielding. I want one. <laughs> the company says the vehicle can withstand two hand grenades what? detonated simultaneously right below the floor. Well, let's hope that never would happen anyhow. <laughs> There's got to be there's got to be something to there's got to be a weak spot. The Death Star had a weak spot. I'm sure <laughs> the kryptonite <laughs> for this even this half million dollar car. <laughs> What's going on with that one? Wow. Um, yeah, some people have a lot of money and that would be <laughs> on their wish list. All right, women are flexing their box office muzzle in a big way. All